Hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today we're doing another requested game. This time around, the requested game is Fantastic Four for Game Boy Advance. Developed by Taurus Games, published by Activision, and released on June 27th, 2005. Now, I'm not too familiar with Fantastic Four. I'm going to be honest with you straight away. I've, I've seen the, fan, the, 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 the film that came out around that time, the Fantastic Four film. It was okay. Rise of the Silver Surfer, it was okay. But besides that, I have really no kind of experience with the Fantastic Four. Besides, like, Galactus is like the big bad guy, right? He eats planets and, and so on and so forth. That's all I really know. But, um... But this game was requested by Friendly Neighborhood Geek 99 so uh, thanks for the request. And um, yeah, I guess let's dive into it and see what it's like, shall we? Alrighty then. So, new game. Like I said, it says it's a beat-em-up of some kind, so... But, what, you know, what can you expect from a beat-em-up on the Game Boy Advance? We'll just have to wait and see. How are those fixes to the hull coming along, Ben? Not a problem, Reed. I should have this finished soon. Good, Ben. We need you to hurry it up, though. That cosmic storm our scanners are picked up earlier is moving this way fast. Just don't go floating away on us, big guy. Yeah, thanks, dude. Oh no, not the cosmic rays. Here they come. Ben, the storm has accelerated. You've got to get inside. We've got to shut the shield right now. Oh no, it's not a different character. Hurry up, big guy, quick. Ben, please hurry. The shields are stuck. The storm is right up top of us. Ben, Ben, no! Oh no, Ben! He got the radiation poisoning. Good morning, Sue. How are you feeling? Good morning, Victor. I feel fine. Excellent. Now, Sue. Yes, Victor? We have known each other for a long time. Are you sure you're okay? That cut looks serious. I'm fine, it's just a scratch, Sue. I have come to realize that. Fire rip. Fire reported in room 401. I'd better go. Get some rest. We will continue this conversation later. Reed! Sue, how are you feeling? I feel great. Your room's nice. I don't have any windows or flowers. Well, Victor has been very hospitable. I suppose he has. What are you getting at? Sue, you've... Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Sue, you've disappeared. Oh, my, I can't see myself. You're completely invisible. This is remarkable. Remarkable? Help me. You're back to normal. We must find others now. <laughs> Alrighty then. Excuse my poor voice acting. Okay, so I can switch between the characters pressing the A button. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. That's a... That's, whip, that's whipping it out. That's whipping it out if I've ever seen it. Let's get a move on. I'm gonna fight anything here? Alright. I'll just break it. I'll just break it. Come on, break it. Break it, Reed. Break it. Excellent read. You see that? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, 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 I should have read the instruction. So the L button and the square button switches them.
Now explain to me how I can't break this. This makes no sense how I can't break this. Why can't I break this? Uh... Hold, please. Okay. I've had to reset the game and get to this point again so I can read this prompt. Right, what is it? Why is this blocking the door? I have no idea. Let's just move it. To pick up an object, first stand next to the object, then double tap the control pad in the direction you are facing. To throw... Why can't I break it? That makes no sense. Like... He breaks it that way. He, it's a table. He could literally break it with his fist. He is Marvel. He is a Marvel man. He can do this. We're locked in. Maybe I can reach through those bars. Move read onto the F4 icon. Then <laughs> F4 icon. Then press the B button. Okay. Hotspot says this. Remembers where we perform a unique move. Each hotspot color indicates a person. Okay. Dark blue, Johnny is red. Okay, so dark blue is red, Johnny is red, Suze is light blue, and Ben's is orange. Why would that be locked behind there? I have no clue. Must be effects of the cosmic storm. Yes. <laughs> you, but many bots of victims be bragging about. Finally, get a closer look. Got the blue crystal. I don't. I love how there's a blue crystal here, but I can't collect it for whatever reason. Was it? I'm guessing it's health or something. What makes me laugh? She's like, "Oh my god, you can you can stretch yourself." Yeah, the fact that I can throw punches like this means nothing. That was just an illusion. Hacking puzzle. Oh, fantastic. Oh yes. Screen choose the correct object, complete circuit by pressing the A button. Circuit must be complete. The terminal and create objects will cause the terminal to reset. Advanced terminals will hire security. Hack away. And there's puzzles in this game. Oh, didn't you just love it? Uh, you've lost me. Is there a particular reason why this is a mash button kind of thing? It's a fucking mash button puzzle. Fuck me, I hate puzzles like that. It's cringe. Need to clear the area in front of the door. The door is locked. I think I can hang into that computer terminal. What about the debris? Did I do that? Did I, did I do that? Oh, I guess I gotta stand here because it's light blue. Excellent. Now he can go and do his little hacking thing. Okay, so it... Okay. Now I understand what it is. You just gotta match it with what it shows down below. I wasn't even looking down below, to be honest with you. Wasn't even looking. Cosmic move unlock. Press the R button. Press the B button to release a cosmic move. Beat the robots. There you go. 
Victor's medical robots are acting strange. It must be our new powers. Hope Ben and Johnny are okay. They could be in danger. Exactly, but before we can find them, we have to get past the security camera. Maybe if I turn invisible. I don't, I don't like it when they lie to you in video games. It said press R. Did it not say press R? I pressed R and she does a shield. I don't think you can hack your way over this one. Deary me. Autosave. Thanks. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of this video game. I'm not a fan. It's a team-based kind of do-puzzles kind of game with very poor beat-em-up mechanics. And I, yeah, okay, it's, it, but it's a Game Boy Advance bio. Don't make it then. Don't make the game. Because it just makes me feel like it's a cash grab. So now we're on fire, we're playing as Johnny, fantastic. I hope the answers cause a revolting. Let's go. Let's go set things on fire. Oh, so Ben can break through these doors. Get out of it. Can't break through that door, though. So he's now going to be like, oh, that's, I'll melt my way through here. <laughs> They're the same door, though. <sighs> flame on. You can hear just flame on. And flame in. Storage room, don't know care, but these boxes are a good thing for smashing down that door. Yes, Ben, let's let's pick up these boxes. Excellent. Well that worked. Barrels might come in handy. Okay. So I guess I set these on fire. Yep. So many ways to just open doors. Like... Oh. Pressing the wrong button. You pick up the barrels. Wow. That doesn't control like shit at all. Let's go beat the shit out of these robots. Me pressing the wrong button. As per usual. Again, you gotta remember, um, for most video games, the square button would be... But obviously, this is Game Boy Advance, doesn't have a square button. 
Just have it. All right. Because, like, I can see what they were going for, right, with this game. But at the same time... It's just kind of there. It doesn't play particularly well for a beat-em-up, or it's very basic for a beat-em-up. It tries to add these puzzle mechanics, and it's just like, eh. Like, I, I don't know if I could personally recommend it, to be honest with you. I would say, why would you play this when you could just... So what other systems? Why would you play this when you can just go play the GameCube or PS2 version? Or X original Xbox version? There's literally no reason for you to play this. It doesn't serve a purpose. <laughs> Don't think so. No. I love how we fight gimps as well. That's fantastic. They, I, they kind of look like... I love how so they, they don't include the fact that Ben's r uh, real wife actually left him because of what happened to Ben, which is pretty cruel. But then again, at the same time, you can you can understand why she would have done it. So he ended up getting with like a, a deaf girl, or not deaf girl, a blind girl. Yeah, you beat him up. I'll beat this dude up. Again, look, he's got, a, like, a mask on, tank top, with a chain around his arm. It's like... Am I the only one that thinks, like... That's kind of, like, a really weird get-up? It's a bit gimpish, to be honest with you. Get wrecked. Oh no, watch out for the fire escape people. They might attack you. They might hurt you, and that's not be good. Yeah, beat him up. Again, these are just people. If... If Ben actually hit them, they would just probably die, to be honest. Goodbye. Oh, we're not going this way? What is this? Secrets? It's clobbering time! It's clobbering time! It's clobbering, it's clobbering. I just went to tell you something. It's clobbering time! Hey, buddy. It's clever in time. Oh, I can't even beat up the car. Oh, weak. It's clever in time. It's clever in time. I just want to tell you something. What you didn't know is clever in time. Literally me. It's clever in time. Every day it's clever in time. And there we go. Alright. Soon as we got to that autosave, I'm probably gonna call it there for this video. If I'm honest with you, right, it's fine for a budget beat-em-up on the Game Boy Advance, but my argument would always be, why would you want to play this? Why? What reasoning is there when you can just play the original 
GameCube PS2 version. So, I personally, in my opinion, cannot recommend this game. Because it is... The beat-em-up aspect of it is very poor. Very poor, right? I'd rather it be more like the PlayStation 1 Fantastic Four game that I played as a requested game back in the day. That game didn't play very well, but at least it was like side... It was a side-scrolling beat-em-up. I would rather have that. That would make more sense. You know, when you have different layers, so it's like a quasi-Metroidvania kind of beat-em-up, I don't know, kind of thing. Not this, though. Not this. It's just, yeah. Nice attempt, but nah. Just nah. But anyway, I'm gonna call it there. I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.